Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Ghost Trick. We last left off finally getting Lynn out of this murder puzzle. This stupid, stupid murder puzzle. I mean, honestly, I thought it was quite dumb. And I guess we're supposed to help Lynn out with a little favor, something that will likely win over her favor for us, is the idea. Though I have a feeling that this isn't going to be entirely legal. But you know what? We're a ghost. I mean, who's gonna arrest us? Alright, lost memories of self. A forgotten murder case. A dead guy and a detective join forces to find out the truth behind them both. The detective assigned the dead guy a task. To sneak into the prison and find out a certain prisoner's schedule for tomorrow. What should I care? I don't have a schedule for tomorrow. That's how I'm feeling about it at the moment. Alright, so let's get back to the phone. I wonder how that detective who keeps dying is doing. I hope she's still alive. I bet she's pretty pleased with herself. Keeping so much of the Reaper's attention focused on her. That little lady is waiting for her at the kitchen... At the chicken kitchen. After I take care of this assignment, I'd better head there, too. Alright. Now, before we get out of here, let's see if they have anything. Yeah, I figured they would. It's all over. It's all over for me. Lynn, sweet, cute Lynn who shines as bright as the sun, ran away on me. And then those detectives, matching bookends. Oh, wait, we already read this, didn't we? I can't remember if this is new or not. This feels kind of new. Mister, would you mind just leaving me alone? Okay, well if it was new, I don't think it was too much new. Anyway... Now that's where we go after we're done, but we have to go to the prison, right? Which I think we have to get to by the uniform men's office, I think. Let's head there and see. So, how are the preparations coming along? I think they're taking care of them right now. Yeah, man, I'm not looking forward to this. That kind of surprises me coming from you. I didn't know you thought about such things. By the way, that was me just being sarcastic. Just in case you didn't catch that. Two more hours and then it's time. I guess we should just get back to work. Yeah, I guess you're right. Alright, so we stuck another to-do note on the wall. The atmosphere sure seems tense. I guess I'll just get back to my work as well. I want you to go find a certain schedule for prisoner. And they're given different job details every day. Each prisoner schedule on the next day is written on a small blackboard in a cell. His prison number is D99, so we're looking for a D99. Alrighty then. How do I get to these cells? I better try to get some information here first. Alright, so nothing interesting to say. We have two memos. What is this TV? So there's rows of tiny rooms. Rooms are really small. Okay, so yeah, these are just describing cells. So I'm assuming we have to let one of these papers loose. Let's try this one this time. Well, I wanted to try to trick into that monitor, but I guess not. Or ghost, whatever you call it. Hey, Bailey. What's the matter? You can't even pin up a memo properly? Let's see this. Take prisoner C-38 to the telephone room. He made a request to use the phone a little while ago. You already told me that earlier, C-38, eh? What did that punk do anyway? You never heard the story about the secret rendezvous case? Secret who what? C-38 was a singer in a band. His group was playing a concert that was being broadcast all over the country live. And right in the middle of their encore, there was a huge incident. 
a huge incident. What was it? A murder or something? In a way, it was even worse than a murder because it had to do with national secrets. Huh? National secrets? A rock band? I'm lost. The song they were doing was called Secret Rendezvous. But the lyrics C-38 was singing were completely different from usual. So, how is that a huge incident? Because the new lyrics exposed all of the nation's dark, seamy secrets. Budget misappropriations, foreign economic strategies, illicit dealings, everything. He was caught red-handed in the act of leaking national secrets. Seriously? The case sent shockwaves throughout the country. But it doesn't make any sense in the first place. How would a rock singer know any top secret information? It's a complete mystery. What? Why don't they ask C-38 himself? Maybe they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Apparently it's all a matter of... National secrecy. Hmm. Well, whatever. Yar, you got me again. Would you quit throwing away my important duty memos? Okay, so... That didn't much help. I'd love to be able to do something instead of just having him grab the papers every time. Maybe I have to do the ghost really quickly after he finishes with his conversation. Maybe that's it. He's got something new to say, at least. Try pinning your memos up a little better next time. Let's see... Inspection Prisoner C-74. Oh, it's almost time for that. I'd better prepare. Prisoner C-74, eh? What did that big whale do, anyway? You don't know? About the Metro Police Department siege case? Metro who what? C-74 barricaded himself into the Metro Police Department and took siege of the place. He even pointed a huge flamethrower at the Chief Commissioner. Why the heck did he do all that? That's what the detectives who surrounded him asked too. What are your demands, they asked. And... The guy looked confused, thought about it for a while and said, Bring me five servings of curry and rice on the devil. Curry and rice? That's it? Unfortunately, no. After he was done eating, he torched the commissioner's office with the flamethrower, torched it good. Important documents and the commissioner's mustache were destroyed in the flames. What the heck did he do all that for? Because the curry was too spicy, he said. Huh? It was too spicy and I just lost it, he said. S Seriously? The case sent shockwaves throughout the country. But it doesn't make any sense in the first place. How did a huge armed guy make it all the way to the commissioner's office alone? It's a complete mystery. What? Why don't they ask th C-74 himself? Maybe they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Apparently it's all a matter of national secrecy. Hmm. I don't know if I believe you. Oh, I can't, I can't even use my ghost powers, because he throws it away too fast. Would you quit throwing away my important duty memos? Hmm. Well, this one went on the middle peg now. I don't see what that'll do for us, but maybe we'll learn something else? Hey, Bailey. I got another one of your fancy papers. Let me see this thing. Bring dinner to prisoner D99. Oh, that's convenient. The the chef is preparing it for him right now. Ooh, how fancy. D99, eh? Even I know about this one. Yeah? Such a sad case. Hard for us, too. He shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of a family member. It's just awful. Why in the world did he do it? Why would he do something like that, of all people? The motive, everything, it's all a complete mystery. 
It's just ridiculous. It doesn't make sense that he would do anything like that. I don't know the details, but apparently this case is a matter of national... Wow, wow so many national secrets. I don't get it. None of it makes any sense. You do know what kind of prison this is, don't you? It's a special prison built just for these kind of cases. That D99, who knows what he's thinking or hiding behind that beard of his. I don't like any of it. I knew I couldn't take my job seriously without it getting to me. So the prisoner I'm looking for, D99, was convicted of murder, eh? And he apparently has a beard. Well, that's good to know. Arg! You throwing away my important things. Hopefully, we have some other method of locomotion. Okay, thanks. It's time to d -d 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 duel. Oh, you must be the electric, electric rock band person. They let you bring that here? Okay. That's interesting. You don't have anything to do, do you? There, it's done. Alright, so we'll send another paper out. Dang it. Bailey, stop throwing paper up there. I'm getting real sick of your crap. Would you quit sending these memos over here? No. Huh? Not until I figure out how you always know the exact instant a memo starts falling. Not until I solve that mystery. Arg! Next time. I will find the answer next time. I guess it's time to try to find a new path. Well, uh... Keeps putting papers up there, and I mean, that doesn't work. You can't do anything with the monitor. There's only a few ways I could see us doing anything. One is if you simply have to do the paper thing enough for it to work, but I don't think that's it, because he's really good at catching that. My other thought would be maybe we have to take the phone somewhere. Oh no, there we go. Okay, we could operate the emergency switch, whatever the heck that is. I don't want to send these memos over to you. I don't know how you do it. I didn't even think about the fact that I had a moment here to actually do something while he was holding it, waiting to talk. Alright, so let's flick the lever and see what happens. Wow. Arg. There you go again, fooling around with that thing. It wasn't me. Don't lie. You, you know you love to see me jump and prepare for emergency. Oh, yeah. Sure, way back when I first got this job. But I've had enough of that now. Besides, you always react exactly the same way. Grr. The emergency switch is probably just loose. Probably because I fooled around with it too much. Well, it's for emergencies. Don't play with it. Anyway, it wasn't me. Maybe you ought to get it repaired, huh? Well, close it back up. It's making me feel on edge. Nah, too much of a pain. A pain? Proper emergency procedures are a pain to you? What a sad, sad state of affairs. But, now we can get to the night vision goggles. To the bazooka, probably shouldn't be playing around with the night vision goggles or bazooka. Can get to the goblet. There we go. Alright, new thoughts, what do we got? I'm guessing that's the kid they were talking about. The 
one who sang the national secrets. If he's a prisoner, he must come from the cells. So maybe we just need to get back on him. He's on the phone with somebody, so maybe that'll get us a new contact. Anyway, let's try the door. <laughs> oh, I see what we gotta do. Well, I tried. I was slightly too late for that. There we go. It doesn't seem very alarmed by the fact that it keeps happening. So this is the thing that was making that horrible noise a second ago. I guess it's a way for the spiky-haired youth to express himself. Sentiments like I'm hungry or I'm thirsty, maybe. Something primitive like that, I bet. Peace out. Radical dude. Yeah. Alright, C-38, back to your cell. Hey, Guardman, how that giving me a little space? That crazy talk of yours is dangerous, man. Her walk. A proper walk for a properly led life. Now let's go. Yo, no lectures, man. I walk my own path, my own way to my own music. <laughs> they let you take that with you? Okay. Some great music you got there. So I'm guessing the next goal is to figure out which one is the right one. So I finally made it to the cells and had to find prisoner D99 and check out his work schedule. What could Lin possibly want with that information? Oh well. So he's got a beard, we know that at least. They let him- wait, 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 they let him bring his whole, like, band to here? Don't think I can take another second in the stinking pit. Looks like Guardman is gone. Yeah, I bet that's gonna be part of the puzzle. All this waiting is wiping me out. Hope this one will finally do it. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's definitely part of the puzzle, I'm sure. Come on, sausage head. Alright, give me just one second. I want to make sure my sound's still working because I'm slightly worried. Yeah, I was mentioned on one of the other videos that the sound had desynced, and the problem with recording with this DS uh, capture card is that sometimes it doesn't get the audio quite right. So I have to end up adjusting stuff, and I forget to adjust some things that I need to adjust sometimes. Like, I'll adjust it at the beginning, and then I'll adjust it at the end, and I'll forget to fix it at the beginning again. So that'll make a lot of things off. So, that's why sometimes the audio is off for these. Anyway. Hmm. This prisoner obviously isn't the one I'm looking for. Prisoner D99 is a beard. There's one of those little blackboards Lynn said would be in their cells. Maybe I should check out Spiky's schedule for tomorrow. Sure, why not? What's this note? It's a pad of note papers hanging on the wall. It's a red X drawn on each one. I think it's some kind of letter or symbol, but I don't recall what it means. Same thing for the O. It's a pad, there's a red O. Alright, what's it say? So this is one of those little blackboards Lynn mentioned. Let's just give it a little read. Tonight, I lost a lot of things, my life, my memory, but there's a certain skill I've apparently lost too. I can't read! Well, that sucks. I can see there's some kind of writing on the blackboard, but I have absolutely no idea what it means. If I can't read Prisoner D99's work schedule for tomorrow, what do I do now? I guess if you could memorize the symbols and then repeat them, like, draw them out. You could do it. It'd be difficult, but possible, I guess. Or maybe if you could somehow take a photograph and then somehow transport that photograph to her. 
What am I supposed to report back to Lynn now? If I tell her I couldn't read it, she'd kill me. But uh, actually, I, I guess I don't have to worry too much about that one. Anyway, I might as well try to find Prisoner D-99's cell. Hopefully I'll at least be able to find something out while I'm there. I can't go back to Lynn empty-handed. Uh, but uh, of course, a ghost doesn't actually have hands. Well, I can't do much with the light. Well, we found a phone, right? That's convenient, this telephone. It looks like it's an in oh darn it, it's an internal line only, it doesn't call outside the prison. So the only places I can go with this telephone are... Other phones within the building that I've already possessed. Okay, so basically I can use it to get around this building, but not exactly... Get out of this building. Well... This doesn't do us much good now, does it? Guess let's go back over here. What is the top section? Emergency button. An emergency button. An emergency in a prison. That's got to be a pretty bad situation. I'll just give it a little try. Quick. Groove away. Okay, so what seems to happen is he flushes it in an emergency. It caused quite an uproar, I guess. I think he's trying to send out messages. And I bet each prisoner reacts differently to the alarm. It might be fun to watch. Let's see, if I want to change my view, I can slide the screen. Maybe their behavior will give me a little clue about my next step. So he sends a message. He paints things. This prisoner pulls the message out of the toilet. Okay. That's weird. All clear. And you're timed on that one as well, it looks like. Okay, well I guess that's good to know. So if I sound the alarm, it gets people moving, eh? Maybe I can use their movements to get around myself. That way I can get an idea of what's going on in each cell. So yeah, I think that's what's going to be the goal is whenever, whenever that happens, we want to jump into the paper. Go, go, go! Ah, okay. I would really suck if anyone actually used the toilet for, like, actual, you know, toilet uses. Because what if it got caught on something else? Blech. What? We just organize a prison break? Um, okay. Did I go in the paper? I didn't know I did. Whoops. Okay. I was just trying to go around the room by the looks of him. That must be the curry lover from the police department siege case. But never mind that, where did he go? What's going on in the cell? Anyway, there's a little blackboard here too. Just to be safe. Maybe I better check the Curry Lover schedule for tomorrow, too. Even though I can't read it. I still can't read. But I better go check out Prisoner T-99's cell anyway. Maybe I can find some kind of information that might help Lin out. Besides, I want to see what this prisoner Lin is investigating looks like. That doesn't much help. Uh, well, I guess the only thing we can do is ring the spell. What happens? 
He comes back when the bell rings. Is that supposed to be a signal like you need to be back? Looks like the curry lover comes back when he hears the bell. I can't make heads or tails out of his behavior once he gets back, though. But this prisoner isn't the one I'm looking for. I'll just chalk this guy up to... It takes all kinds. I better try to find his path to D99 cell. So he's pulling it up now, expecting to see a paper. But it's not there, so he's confused. Oh well. Send it back down again. I have a feeling that spoon's going to be a vital part of this thing. Oh, not quite. I have a feeling he's like getting into their mess hall and eating their food or something. Okay, so this will allow me to go back up and down then, that's good. Same thing here, it looks like this is just an internal phone. So the only place I can go are other phones in the building here. I'm pretty sure this is D99 cell. Yeah, he's got a beard alright. That's pretty conspicuous. What a strange cell. And the prisoner inside. He seems to be enjoying himself. This is the last cell in this area. So that means that this man humming to himself must be prisoner D99. According to what the guard said. Yeah, even I know about him. He shot his wife. Right in front of a family member. What in the world really happened? And why is Lin so concerned about this prisoner? I don't know the answers, and I guess there's no need for me to know. I have only one objective, and that's to find out what this painter's work schedule is for tomorrow. Well, let's see what we can do. Photos, eh? I wonder if these are of his family. This one looks like a young woman holding a baby. Their faces have been blotted out with black paint. Did he do it out of hatred or some other kind of emotion? Thankfully, that's not something I need to know right now. Newspaper article. It's been cut out and framed. Unfortunately, I can't read it. It's probably about D99's case. Man murders wife or something like that. It's a picture of the alleged culprit in the article. Yep, it's this prisoner, all right. So the work schedule for tomorrow for prison D99. The information Lynn's looking for should be written on this blackboard. Unfortunately, I've lost the ability to read. But here I am anyway. The least I can do is take a look. Huh? What could this mean? There's nothing written on the board at all! I think something was written on the blackboards of the other prisoners. But this board is as clean and blank as the day it was hung there. Well, does that mean he's not doing anything? So I have the answer Lynn was looking for. Tomorrow's work schedule for Prisoner D99 is... nothing. Would this information mean anything to her? It's not up to me to know or care. That's how I feel at the moment, anyway. So what now? Not being able to read, I was wondering how this was going to turn out. Some things in this world can be read, even if one can't read. Prisoner D99's work schedule for tomorrow is blank. I better get this important information to Lynn as fast as I can. It's nothing. Absolutely nothing. Hmm. Yeah. Kind of curious how we're going to get out. I, I think it's going to involve the curry eating guy, maybe. Regardless, we're going to stop here for today. And we'll figure out how to get out next time. Hope you guys enjoyed so far. That was a fun one. It's just, like... You know, I was, I was talking to someone earlier today, and they were talking about how much, how, you know, how much work went into this game. And I mean, truthfully, look at it, like, these animations look really good, especially for a DS game. It kind of makes me think, like, maybe they did some motion capture stuff. 
I mean, it seems silly for a DS game, but... I don't know. Then maybe they did do some motion capture stuff, because this stuff looks really, really natural, just the movements. It looks really good. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hopefully a little bit less sick. I'm almost positive you guys can hear that. It's kind of stepping up my nose a bit. Thanks for watching. Bye!